Fulani sees the following advert. There is a scooter for sale. It's 15,000 Rand for the scooter. So, but there's also a higher purchase agreement available. Let me explain. In real life, if you go to a motorbike or a scooter shop, you have two options when you buy the scooter, okay? You can either pay for it cash. What that means is that you pay for it with one amount. It doesn't mean you have to go there with a big briefcase with cash. What they mean is you can even use your card if you want, your bank card. But you're paying for it all in one. You're giving the person 15,000 Rand and that's it. You don't need to pay anything more for your scooter. It's your scooter. You never have to pay anything more besides petrol and things like that. Okay. The other option is that you don't pay the 15,000 Rand in one step, but you rather pay for it over maybe one year or two years. So with that option where you pay for it with one year or two year or three years, you will end up spending less each month, but you will have to end up spending more than 15,000 Rand if you add all of the payments together over the one or two or three years. So you're going to spend, you, you might spend like 18,000 Rand, but it'll still be easier because you only have to pay a little bit each month, okay? That is the way that most people do it in real life because sometimes to be able to have 15,000 Rand in one step can be very challenging. It says here, since he cannot afford to pay cash, okay, he opts for the higher purchase agreement, which says the following. Okay, so he's not going to do this one, okay? He's going to rather do this one. So you have to, okay, now the way that it works is if you walk into a motorbike shop and you tell them, I don't want to pay 15,000 Rand today, I rather want to use higher purchase, they will ask you to pay a little bit today. They're not going to just, most times they're not going to just let you take the scooter and you're not going to pay anything. They're going to ask you for a small payment today. And that small payment is called a deposit. Okay, so the first question says, how much will that deposit be? Well, they said that it's 15%. 15% of what? 15% of the total. So you're going to say 15% of 15,000 Rand. Now, of means multiply. And then with percentage, you can either type it like that on your calculator where you put the percentage button or you can say 15 over 100. If you had to go and work this out, you end up with 2,250 Rand. So what that means is that if you go buy your, your, your motorbike, you walk into the motorbike shop, you tell them I don't have 15,000 Rand, they say, okay, that's fine, you can do a higher purchase, but can you please give us 15%? So that means that on the day that you buy your motorbike, you're going to give them this amount over here. Okay. Then it says how much, calculate the total amount that he must still pay. Okay. Now that question could have been taken a bit in different ways, but it's a three mark question. So they're not saying how much must he still pay from the 15,000. They're talking about how much must they, that this person now pay after they've done the interest. You see here they're doing 10% per annum. So that is the, you can think of the interest as like the penalty because you're not buying the cash, you're not buying the motorbike cash. Remember I told you that you're gonna end up spending more than 15,000 Rand and that is because of something called interest. These shops would never let you take the scooter and pay it off over two years without making the price a little bit more. Otherwise, they just, they, 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 yeah, it's easier. Yeah, they rather, they rather add interest so that it makes it better for them. Okay. Why would they give you the scooter for 15,000, but they tell you that you can pay it off over two years. They'll rather say that you can pay it off over two years, but then they're going to charge you interest. That's how they make, that makes it more worthwhile for them. All right. So what we need to understand is that the scooter was 15,000 Rand. Okay. 15,000 Rand. How much have we already paid? Well, you've already paid 2,250. That was your deposit. 
So how much is still left over? How much is this amount over here? Well, that would be 15,000, take away 2,250, and that'll be 12,750 Rand. The person at the shop is going to take that number and they're going to use this formula over here to see how much the new amount will become. So they're going to take the 12,750. They're not going to use 15,000. They're only going to take the amount that you still have to pay and they're going to put the interest because that's the part that they still need you to pay. Then they're going to put the interest on that. So they're going to put interest of 10%. So that's 10 over 100. And then the number of years is going to be 2 because 24 months is the same as 2 years. So I need to change this to years because this is years. Okay. If you had to go work this out, it'll be 15,300 Rand. So calculate the total amount that he must still pay 15,300. Okay. Then it says, what is the monthly installment? Well, the person has to pay this amount over 24 months. So you just divide that by 24, and that'll be 637 Rand and 50 cents. You see, it's easier to rather spend 637 Rand and 50 cents every month for two years instead of having to pay 15,000 Rand at once. But remember, you are going to end up spending more for the motorbike. You're going to spend this amount and you're going to spend this amount. So if you had to add those two numbers together, you're actually going to spend about 17,550 Rand. So you are paying more, but it's easier because you only have to pay that per month.